Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mind Test Mod Review. And today we are looking at the Earth Build Mod. So here's a question for you. Have you ever found yourself in a beautiful, beautiful chunk of landscape? Some nice kind of rolling mountains in the distance. Some beautiful, pristine, clean, freshwater lakes. And uh, an island way over there with trees, but let's let's pretend that doesn't exist and those, those aren't trees. Um, they're... Um, they're just they're figments of our imagination. We're hallucinating. We think we see trees because we really, really want to build a house. But um, there is no wood to be had, as you will notice. And uh, we're also forgetting the fact that we can um, harvest these bushes and get saplings and plant trees. Yeah, we're, we're completely forgetting that fact. So there's no wood. What do we do? How do we build ourselves a house? Well, that's where the Earth Build mod comes in place. It has all sorts of materials here that we can build with that don't need wood. So let's uh, actually find the ones that don't use wood because as you will see here, um, there's a lot of wood supported things. And there's some that are supported with pine, some with acacia, and some with default wood. So let's see what we have that does not require wood to support it. So we have some thatch, which uh, I've got a stack of right here, and that just made out of a bunch of leaves, which admittedly would be impossible to make if there were no trees. Now thatch is uh, is a viable building material. It makes nice walls, makes nice roofs. I didn't use it for the roof here because I was stupid, and once it was built, I didn't feel like going back and rebuilding it. We have wattle and daub. Is it pronounced daub? Dab? Dab? I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but as you'll see, there's a handful of different ways we can create this. And all we need is dirt and some type of foliage, which I don't think is done by a group because it's actually listing through all these different things, and a stick. Now, we can get sticks from the bushes, so uh, we have that option. And this is, this is pretty handy. I've got some right here, so let's go ahead and throw some of this in our world. I'm just making a little U-shaped thing. So this uh, makes for nice walls as well, kind of like a, kind of like an adobe kind of material almost. That's what this fence is actually made of. Fent wall, I guess, technically is what it's made of, and that follows the normal method for making walls. Moving right along, we actually have the wall, which is right here. So I'm not going to place that. And then we have whitewashed earth. And we have whitewashed wattle and daub, which I have both of right here. Now these these are interesting because here they are in the world. I forget which is which. They look identical. I did not check, but I think they use the same textures. But here's where it's interesting. One falls, one does not. The one that doesn't fall is uh, the whitewashed wattle and daub. The whitewashed earth falls to the ground. So let's take a quick peek at how to make those. Whitewashed earth, uh, looks like we can use rammed earth and gravel, or we can use cob and gravel to make a white variant. And the whitewashed wattle and daub uses wattle and daub, oddly enough, and some gravel. And like I said, they look identical. I think they might be. But the one uh, acts like sand in that it has to have supporting material, and the other one doesn't. Now, interestingly enough, if we get, um, where is it? Cob? We didn't use cob yet. No, we didn't. Okay, I think that's what I'm missing. I don't know how I missed that. We have cob here, which is made with two pieces of dirt and, again, a piece of foliage of a different style, or of the same style as the other ones, but... Uh, it uses some of that, and this is the same thing. And if we put some cob out, let's uh, let's continue our little little path thing here. We will notice it acts like sand and falls to the ground. And that is where this wood supported stuff comes in. And like I mentioned, it has uh, acacia. It has uh, jungle wood pine and just good old default wooden planks and same recipe 
for any of the wood types or any of the building material types, three of the material on top and then one piece of wood on the left underneath. We do have stairs for rammed earth and whitewashed earth and slabs for those two as well. We also have an ax and a knife, which I'm not really entirely sure why we have those. I haven't really noticed anything that they're super good at. Uh, you will notice that, well actually let me just try, let me demonstrate how this, how this does or doesn't work. So using our fist, we can't, we can't actually break any of these. I think we can thatch. But other than that, this stuff is all not fistable, punchable, I guess. Uh, we can break this one with the axe, but this one we can't. Interesting. No luck with the axe. The axe works. We pull out the pickaxe, and we can get to the last of the items. The knife is just for looks. I, I don't know. It works for the thatch. But that's it. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure if the knife has some alternate purpose that I'm not aware of, or if it's just added, because why not? But uh, another thing I wanted to show is this hearth, hearth, depending on where you're from, you might be enunciated differently. Um, you punch it, you punch it, and it starts on fire. Oh, there we go. Um, I found the easiest way to do this, actually, is punch it from the side to turn it on. Because when you punch it from the top, you, in my case anyways, I end up clicking on the fire and putting it out. So clicking from the side works just fine. And this fire will spread, so if I throw some thatch here, that will start on fire eventually. Um, I know this because I accidentally burnt a chunk of my house down when I placed these next to the wall. I had them over there and I ended up burning through it. It was a very sad day. Oh, now we also take damage if we stand in the fire, which makes sense, I must say. Now, of course, all of these wood ones um, don't really do us any good here because, yeah, there's no wood to be had, so we can't actually make these. Totally joking, there's an island with trees on it. Right over there. It actually does exist. Oh, come on, is this, I just, it's not going to burn now because I want it to. That is disappointing. Um... I actually didn't check if any of these other things do. Waddle and Dob might, possibly. I could see that burning. And the cob might burn. Let me find the cob again. Cob, cob, cob. Oh wait, that's, mm, that probably won't. Oh, there we go, the thatch is burning. And it will burn up eventually. But uh, it took quite a while when it was over here. I actually, quite honestly, wasn't even sure what the hearth did when I first placed it. And I placed, I was like, okay, this doesn't do anything. This is kind of weird. It's it's not a very good tileable, tile, tileable material. And then I went to dig it and uh, found I couldn't punch it to dig it. I think I had to use the, I think I had to use the pickaxe actually to dig it. But I went to punch it to dig it and uh, all of a sudden it started on fire. I was like, oh, interesting. I didn't realize this would burn. Yeah, so the shovel works. Um, I'm not sure if this is burning or not. I don't think it is. It just the flames on the inside. So yeah, you have the hearth, which, like I said, it uh, it doesn't tile very well. So if you want to do like a big fire, it doesn't really like look very attractive. And I would have thought these would have all spread to each other, but maybe in time they would have. But I'm just impatient, so I'm going to do that. The fire, as far as I can tell, never goes out. It'll spread to that at some point. Um, is there anything else I am missing with this mod? I don't think so. Uh, it's a nice, nice way to not have to just have dirt houses everywhere. Like you, you know exactly what I'm. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever gone on a server, you know around the spawn. There's going to just be all these ugly dirt houses that, or cobblestone 
houses that people have built because they haven't spent enough time gathering resources, but they want some place to stay safe at night, assuming there's, you know, monsters that come out at night. And they just build this cobble, and it looks disgusting. This is a very nice alternative. It looks quite attractive. I did notice uh, there's pretty obvious edges on these. They don't, they're not very seamless of an edge. If I could, there we go. Um, but that's life, I suppose. Whoa, we're burning some, um, whatever these are. I don't know, purple, purple flowers. I forget what they are. But anyways, that is the Earth Build mod. It's an older mod. Uh, I don't know if it's currently being maintained or anything, but it works just fine in 0416, and I don't really see any reason why it would not work in any future versions, because it's basically just a bunch of nodes. There's nothing special, no advanced features or functionality that would rely on any other code other than registering nodes, and there's absolutely no reason to expect that to change anytime soon. So with that, I will wrap this up. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next week with another Mindtest Mod Review.